So one of the cool new features introduced in Logic Pro 11 is the stem splitter. And there are three different ways you can take advantage of stem splitter. They all work the same. It's just a matter of which one is easier. So much like a lot of things in Logic, it's going to be based on what region you have selected. So you can import a song into the project and then you can select a region. You can go into the track contents, find a track background area for that track, find a region, VO shift M on it to bring up the context menu and go down and choose stem splitter from process. You can go into the tracks toolbar, go to the function menu and choose stem splitter from there once you have the region selected. Or you can do what I did, which is go into the key commands list and assign a key command to stem splitter. So option K to go into the key commands list and you can go to the search field, type in stem, VO right to the table find stem splitter in that table and then stop interacting and go find the assign by key label button via space on it and press the key you want to assign it to. So I assigned it to control option command shift X. It was just the first thing that came to mind that actually worked. Whether or not I'll leave it on that assignment remains to be seen when I update the logic keyboard ninja key commands file. But I wanted to show you guys how to take advantage of this now. So you can map your own key command or wait for the logic keyboard ninja file to be updated. And if you want to find out when it's updated, please go visit logic.band and join the mailing list. That way I can let you know when I update the key command file and you'll also get a free getting started with logic course just for signing up along with some extra bonus content that is usually only in the uh, members area here on YouTube. Speaking of the YouTube channel membership, if you want to support logic.band and you want to get some bonus tutorials, you want to come to a Q&A where you can ask me your questions, then hit the join button on YouTube or visit logic.band slash member to join the channel and take advantage of some of those perks. Links to all of this is in the description below as well. All right, so let's talk about the stem splitter. Right now I have a uh, track I recently completed. It's a cover and it's got guitars, bass, drums, and a lot of vocals. And I'll just go ahead and play a little bit of this for you All right now so you can get a feel for the track and then we'll talk about how to use stem splitter. You know the bed feels warmer Sleeping here alone You know I dream in color And do the things I want And there's a lot more vocals that come in here Best of me Think you've had the last time But you think that everything good is gone Think you left me broken down Think that I come running back all right so that gives you a uh, kind of an idea of what we're working with here so all the user elements drums bass vocals guitars there's no keyboards in the song but good enough to demonstrate what the stem splitter can do so like i said i got this imported into logic now if you want to like say do a remix or something like that if you go ahead and uh, set the tempo to adopt and then import the file it will analyze it for tempo so then after you stem split it you should have the project set up to follow the tempo of, all of those files anyway so it will make it easy for you to get going on that i have a tutorial on how to use adapt tempo i'll put a link to that in the description as well so i just have one track in this project right now and it's just track one and if i do control end and control home you see that i have the region that uh for the length for this song selected right now all right so like i said the key command i assigned the stem splitter to is going to be control option command shift x so i'm going to go ahead and hit that key command right now in dialog split button stem splitter and you see it brought up the dialog for the stem splitter so split button cancel button help button yeah split cancel help i'm just using via left here and if i via left one more you will find a scroll area if i interact with the scroll area five items heading stronger one vocals check checkbox so these are the different stems you can choose so vocal is check drums check checkbox drums bass check checkbox bass other check checkbox and other those are all checked which means i'm going to end up with four new tracks 
that are essentially the vocals on its own track, the bass on its own track, the drums on its own track, and everything else that's not bass, drums, or vocals are going to be in a fourth track. And that's usually where you'll find your guitars, your pianos, things of that nature will end up on that fourth track. All right. So if you want all four of these by default, all four of these are checked. So if you want to split it out into these four stems, you can just hit the key command and then just go ahead and hit the if I come out of this scroll area, be all right. You can just go ahead and hit the split button, but only if you want to say, hey, you know what? I don't need to worry about uh, other. I don't care about the bass. I just want vocals and drums or I just want the vocals. You can uncheck the others. It'll just run a little faster because it only got to generate one of them is my understanding. So I'm going to go ahead and hit split. So I'm just going to video space on split. Logic Pro dialogue. Creating overview for stronger drums. Eight. Closing time. Creating overview for stronger bass. Eight. Creating overview for stronger other eight. Tracks. Group. Untitled one. Logics. Untitled one. Tracks. Window. And that's how quickly it split all of these into their own individual tracks. And so now there are additional tracks in the project here. So if I move through the track headers here. Tracks. Group. Tracks. Track. Tracks. Group. Let's get back in there. In tracks. Group. Tracks. Tracks. Group. In tracks. Tracks. Tracks header. Group. In tracks header. Group. Track three stronger. One. Vocals. Group. All right, so we got the vocal track there. Track four stronger, one, drums, group. The drum track. Track five stronger, one, bass, group. Bass. Track six stronger, one, other, group. And other, right? So track let's five, go track, back. Track, track one stronger, group. Track one stronger, track two stronger, one, stems, group. So it also creates the stem track. Track one stronger, group. And I'm going to mute Toggle channel strip, mute on. that track. In the one tick. Track two stronger, one, stems. Track three stronger, one, vocals. 107 bars, fourth, one bar, one beat, one division, one. And channel, I'm going to solo the vocal track here. And actually, you know the bed feels warmer sleeping here alone. So you see that has all the vocal tracks on it. And if we go down to this drum track, solo this. We have the drums. Now, the symbols don't always come out the best with stuff like this. So if you want to, like, say, sample a kick or a snare or something, you might be able to get away with that with a little EQ in, but not necessarily, say, like the symbols sometimes. So let's unsolo that. We got the bass here. So we got that. And we got the guitars on this other track here. All right. So that's pretty much it. You can do what you want with these tracks now. You can delete the ones you don't need. You can uh, start working on your remix. Like I said, if you set adopt tempo before you import these uh, tracks, you will be able to. Uh, have everything already ready for you at the appropriate tempo. You can start adding new instruments to the track, et cetera, et cetera, and using these uh, stems in your projects. Thank you for checking out this tutorial. Hope you found that useful and helpful. If you got any tips you'd love to share with the community, please feel free to leave those in the comments below. Remember to like, share, and subscribe both to the YouTube channel and to the email list found at logic.band. That way you can get a free getting started with Logic course and I can let you know when the Logic Keyboard Ninja key commands have been updated and keep you in the loop on everything going on at logic.band. Want to go deeper on this topic or anything relating to macOS, VoiceOver, Logic, or Garage? man then book yourself some one-on-one -on -one training by visiting logic.band slash training want to support us then visit logic.band slash support where you can make a one-time or ongoing donation you can also join the band by visiting logic.band slash member or just hit the join button if you're watching this on youtube and you'll get bonus tutorials a q a with me and more links to everything plus a blog post with supplemental information for this tutorials in the description and as always happy recording